Hey YouTube. So I got a deal on some panels. I got 12 165 watt shell solar panels. Let's see if I can show that. Obviously there's some older panels because you know silver frame, silver face, um, everything. But paid the best price free. So 12 of them for free, can't argue. So I'm gonna do a quick test. Um, I wanna see if these things are actually still producing or not and see how well they're doing. <clears throat> Easiest way, check for your sun, for your solar noon, paint cap on a piece of cardboard. So I got this propped up on a trash can, nothing special, but at the top corner. And if I can do this without making a shadow. All right, let me try to come over here. So as you see, the shadow is going around the paint lid pretty close. Now, if I was going to set these for optimal, obviously, I would bring this back to about there just until that shadow that you're seeing right here is following around this paint cap perfectly. So let me see if I can come up to here. So as you see, it's pretty close. Again, this is just for testing. If I were to raise this, see how the shadow moves. And if I were to raise it this way, the shadow goes the opposite way. So if you ever want to test your panels to make sure that you get the right tilt and then you get the right angle, if you don't have money for meters, this is one of the quickest, easiest, simplest ways to do a quick test to find your uh, ultimate angle as far as um, solar noon. So well, let's get to the tools. So what we did was we ordered this L-Joy, l joy solar panel multimeter so it's got the mc4 connectors on it but this particular panel somebody when they pulled these panels off they went ahead and they snipped all the cables no big deal we're just going to go ahead and i'm going to end up rewiring these if they're any good and then i'm going to go ahead and uh put mc4s on there but there's the label for it it's the shell solar 165 watts 44.5 for the open circuit voltage 20 amp so let's find out how close these things are actually still reading I'm not sure exactly how old these are i'm going to guess these are probably every bit of oh, maybe 10 years old maybe maybe older if anybody knows shoot me a message in the uh in the comments if anybody has any info on these panels i know shell solar i believe makes 175s but it's hard to find this 165 the sq165 pc um i did write a couple companies who sold them but nobody wants to respond back so yeah, I'll be interested to see if uh, anybody has any info on these. So let me get these wires moved real quick. Because I went ahead and pulled the sheathing back. Okay. So what we're going to... Now this doesn't require any batteries, as you see. Um, the power is actually supplied through the panel. So let's go ahead. This is hard to do with one hand. Let's go ahead and connect these. Um... Let me show you this real quick. So if you want to switch these leads out from this clamp style, very simple. All you do is just unplug them. And then you would plug those in if you want to check it with something that has an MC4 on it. But in this case, we don't. So we're going to go this route. I found this on Amazon. Um, this is the, the version 2, I believe. It's supposed to have the lighter backlight and all so let's find out on a sunny day how well it actually works so what i'm going to do is again try and do this with one hand clip out on the positive and once i clip this on the negative it should start reading I might do a little spark oh, not bad okay all right well as you see it's reading so let's give it a second to generate and uh find out what it's producing of course, now the clouds are starting to come over a little bit. You know, it's actually directly in the sunlight, and you can read that screen just fine. I saw a lot of reviews of people were saying, you know, how terrible they were, how bad they were. Um, you know, couldn't read the screen in the bright sunlight. Well, let's find out. It's on top of the solar panel, directly in the bright sunlight. If I don't make a shadow, you can see, uh, you can read it quite well. So if anybody decides to get one of these, don't uh, don't always believe all the reviews. Sometimes it's more operator error than it is 
you know, parts error. So I'm past solar noon, so unfortunately I'm not at the optimal time right now. But still, almost 140 watts it's putting out for a 165 watt panel, which 165 guarantee was optimal um, conditions when they tested it. But the VOC is it's going up to 37, and well, I believe it was 40 or 44. It was 44. Then again, free panel, it's not going to complain. 12 of them, it's just under. It's about 1980 watts um, of solar panels putting out 136 so you know it's 1600 watts of panels for free I'm not gonna complain but yeah cool little tool it actually works nice apparently I haven't had a chance to play with this the first time so as you see it has a backlight turn the backlight on which you yeah, it's still under here Backlights on and backlights off. Actually works pretty well. All right, let's uh, let's wait for the sun to come back out. All right, now we got a little sun on there. Again, 165 watt panel, 152.2 so far. So not gonna argue with that again for free. So I have a feeling my next video is going to be. I'm gonna go ahead and um, probably probably gonna paint the frames on the outside black. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install these on the uh, on the roof. I'm gonna use these for the morning sun. So that way, um, from about 7, 7.30, up until about, um, I don't know, maybe 11, they should pretty much gain sun through the front. And then uh, all my other rays will obviously uh, pick up from the rear. So there you have it, 152.2. So if you want a nice little cheap tool, um, I think this one here for the upgraded model, I think I paid $99 for this. Um, as you see, it has different settings for automatic and PPT, and then it has manual. Right now we're on manual, so let's see what automatic does. A little cloud coverage or dropping, so I'm guessing it just, yeah, maybe I'll you all start reading the actual manual and see what it does, but it looks like, um, in automatic mode it just keeps changing as the cloud cover comes over and as the sun comes out yeah, not a bad little tool let's see so there is the model that I have and again if anybody has any questions this is the uh, version 2 so apparently this is supposed to have the brighter backlight so that's why I went with this one so that's it for today um, my next video will be um, I guess maybe painting the frames and setting these things up Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.